A rush of blood to the head has been a phrase uttered by many a commentator over the years. So today, Chris and I will be rating the funniest and most memorable of these incidents. And a rush of blood to the head? No, never mind. Get him off the field! That was diabolical! So I thought we'd start off with perhaps the most iconic red card of all time. Zidane's head Bold, but Sorry. I don't remember Theo Baker doing that. A little bit of a coming together and a, a slight correspondence between the two. The slow-mo on that. It is mental when you think about it, really, isn't it? That one guy penenkered in a World Cup final and then headbutt. Like, the size of the testicles on that man. The duality of the French. So he said, after the third clash, I frowned and he retorted, I'll give you my shirt later, because he was pulling his shirt. I replied that I'd rather have his sister than his shirt. And he headbutted him. That's mental. Zidane wouldn't last 20 seconds in a Modern Warfare 2 lobby, that's all I'm saying. He will get concussion from the amount of 12-year-olds he'd have to headbutt. I I think there's only one place for this incident to go. Right at the top. Let's bring things back to England for this one, shall we? Di Maria with Michael Oliver. Oh, that's a very good one. With him driving through and then goes down very easily. Does he get a free? No, he gets booked for diving. And then in the resulting commotion, so stupid. What are you doing, Angle? It's such a wet way to get sent off. You can see Michael Oliver go, oh. I mean, it is a dive. Why would you protest a dive like that? What are you hoping to achieve? Is that a pretty dumb or a what did you expect? I do feel like it's a bit of a wet way to get sent off, so I think it has to go in what did you expect. This one, I'd actually forgotten about until I was doing some research for this video. I don't know if you uh, recognize this. I'm not sure I do. So this was a Fabregas red card. I think we should just watch it through. <laughs> oh my God, no. <laughs> 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 Jesus, Darren Fletcher loses his mind. You're on a football pitch, he's kicked a ball at someone and Darren Fletcher's acted like he's just taken his wife. I think that's um, Chris Brunt, I think his name is. He really took the brunt of that one, didn't he? Oh, I've enjoyed that one. That's, that's very niche as well. Pretty dumb, I'd say. <laughs> this one's a bit of a longer clip, but I'm sure you've seen it before. Anthony! I don't know if I have. This is just a series of incredible events. So as you can see, they're 3-2 up with a minute and a half left of added time, so potentially some time-wasting tactics employ here. I'm assuming that's the rival manager just laughing at him for his antics. <laughs> that's like Sam Allardyce at Flores. <sighs> and then his teammates try to get him back oh up, my God, and he that's just throws amazing. himself down again. No, no, no. Larson throws him to the floor. Look. Oh, he does. It's him. Anthony actually doesn't do anything. He's still down. He's really milking this. Oh, and that must have been his second yellow card as well. I feel like he's been hard done by there. Yeah, I feel like Tadic has sort of thrown him under the bus there. I'd probably say pretty dumb for this one as well. It's just such a stupid red card. Yeah. So unnecessary. This one, I'm sure you'll get it immediately. <laughs> I was hoping this one would be in here. Oh, this is one of my favourites. Steven Gerrard's oh. red card against Man U. Steven Gerrard with his encyclopedic knowledge of this fixture and what it requires. Watching this live was almost better than watching the Aguero moment, I must say. It's just like, it's such an unnecessary tackle, firstly, to go in on Massa like that. It's just like, why have you decided to let him know you're there? And, oh no, it's the uh, it's the second one. That's what does it yeah, for yeah, him. Yeah. Like, Herrera literally doesn't do anything. <laughs> he just stamps on He just stamps on it. <laughs> He's that rattled by the pure existence of a Man United player. You know, he's been sent on for his fire and passion and then immediately sent off for his fire and passion. But yeah, the commentators are just bigging him up for Old Trafford Stambul and then he goes out and does <laughs> this. Surely this is top two tiers. I think this has to be absolutely sensational. I don't think it gets much better than yeah. this. I think we should go for a true connoisseur of red cardery for this next one. Oh, he had to appear at some point, didn't he? On a goal scoring opportunity, this is Cascaro on the chance to score. He's broke down. I think this is like the perfect example of a footballer snapping. He kicks him twice and then stamps on him twice for good measure. He literally assaults this man about five times within 30 seconds. It's not even half time. That's probably three or four red cards rolled into one there. This second clip shows a bit more as well. Oh my god, he punches someone! I didn't even know that he punched someone in the face too! I think that has to be absolutely sensational as well. I just think that's so past the requirement for a red card that it has to be up there. But if I'm gonna have to sit and blur things anyway, we might as well go for uh, this. <laughs> Feast your eyes on this corker. So the referee's given him a red for something or other. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh my god, the fact that he doesn't even floor him. He's put everything into that kick. <laughs> and then he just gets carried off like an angry toddler. <laughs> oh my guy is down bad. That's so many L's inside 10 seconds, it's crazy. So I just can't stop watching him being carried away like a cat that's just being dragged out of the kitchen. I'd have said probably what did you expect. I think we should just go for a very silly one next. So this is a goalkeeper in the Turkish league, I believe. Let's see what he does, shall we? Oh, 
<laughs> you silly man. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. Surely there's some match fixing here. I can't believe I've never seen this. That's absolutely amazing. He's so like come to terms with the fact that he's done it instantly. I really, really hope that isn't match fixing. <laughs> 13 seconds into a game and you're down to 10 men. His manager must have been fuming. I think very respectable. It's got a special place in my heart, that one. This one's a funny one as well. I just think it deserves a place here. Guys, I can only deal with Ollie in an hour and a half segment, so we had to stop recording and then come back on the next day. But yeah, we left off with Spalletti getting himself a red card for his um, sarcastic comments. <laughs> But you can see it in his eyes, can't you? Just the sarcasm, and then when the ref turns around, <laughs> the instant change in expression. I feel like he should get a sending off just for how tight his shirt is. The look on his face kind of says it all. Like it's, it's the five stages of grief all rolled into about five seconds. I think that's got to be what did you expect for me. This next one is very funny and also very controversial, I'd say. This guy called Marcelo. I'm intrigued by the screenshot, I'll say that. <laughs> so it's a cynical foul on the edge of the box. <laughs> Quite rightly, a yellow. <laughs> and then his little gesture Wait, no. accidentally hits the car. Oh my yeah, god. That's a red. That's insane. I actually feel bad for him. It's completely accidental. That's such a power play from the ref. There's no way the ref thinks that's intentional. I'm sorry. It's just so unlucky that his hand happens to connect with the card as it's coming down. Like, what are the odds of that? That's so obviously an accident. That is mental from that ref. He definitely used to take his ball home when he started losing in childhood football games. I think this should be off first absolutely criminal because yeah. how has the ref sent him off for that? It's a freak accident. Yeah, I think that's insane. Absolutely criminal is fine with me. I'm going to throw in a fairly similar one here, although it has some pretty key differences. You can kind of <laughs> see what's happened, can't you? Copy my homework, just change it a little bit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Say. <laughs> yeah, he's clearly just oh, got to body the man. What's he trying to do? That's trial as well. <laughs> oh my days, that is hilarious. Oh my goodness, he's holding it behind his back so no one else steals it. <laughs> so now instead of being down to 10 men, you're down to 9 because your player is an idiot. How was there not just one player that stole the red card off the referee, but two players like fully happy to just manhandle the referee in one game? I think it's the fact that he doesn't even hesitate. Like there's no point in his mind at which he even thinks about doing it. <laughs> it's like, I'm the alpha male here. I think very respectable would probably get my vote for that one. Yeah, you just have to applaud it, don't you? I think we should go for another unfortunate one next. So this is Zila, a keeper in the German league. I really feel for him in this one. Oh my <laughs> days, I have seen that before. First you can see the 94th minute equaliser, and then look, in his frustration tries to punch the ball away, the other guy gets there first, and then he takes an absolute right hook from Zila. Oh, he's had a howl of that. I feel for him with this one, it's another accidental one. But then again, he has punched a man in the kidney. Pretty dumb. It's unfortunate, but like, surely his peripheral vision's not that bad that he can't see him coming. We have an Ibrahimovic moment up next. This is another very silly red card. So a little off the ball incident there. Really milking it, whatever it is. <laughs> that is amazing. The other guy's not really done anything wrong there, he's just kind of got tight to him, accidentally copped a feel and then he just <laughs> smacks him. I feel like that guy's so short that he's actually just mistaken him for a child and slapped him around the face. God, it's so embarrassing that Ibrahimovic is still like acting like he's actually injured. You're a six foot five man who refers to himself in third person. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I think this one's got to be pretty dumb or what did you expect as well? I'd go pretty dumb. Next up is one that we've covered in previous videos, but uh, it has to make an appearance, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a shame the camera uh, goes to Aspilicueta there. <laughs> and just goes back to the ball boy on the floor and Hazard looming over him. He didn't really kick him that hard either, did he? He didn't kick him, like, at all. He kicked the ball and that was it. Sorry, Eden. This bottom isn't allowed on this pitch. I think this could be absolutely sensational. It's just so iconic, isn't it? So Ollie's allowed me to introduce this one because he was not actually watching football at the time that this occurred. Next up, we have King Kieran Dyer against Lee Boya, one of the greatest incidents in Premier League history. From what I remember of this one, they literally just started scrapping for no reason. That's <laughs> the fact the game's going <laughs> yeah. on and you just spot them. <laughs> yeah, everyone else is just trying to play the game and they just decide to have a scrap in the middle of the pitch. <laughs> yeah, what? So good. It's just a cat. 
cat fight in the middle of the pitch. Oh, it's, oh, it's absolutely incredible. <laughs> then they both get themselves sent off. Just why? They're in possession as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what makes it funny. Oh, that's absolutely sensational, no doubt about it. Oh, this one you definitely will have seen. Oh my days, this is one of my favourite clips of all time. <laughs> 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 Didn't he end up losing his job for this? I hope so. Even if he hadn't sent him off, you can't kick someone as a referee. Let's have the audacity to send him off for it. Yeah, you're supposed to be the responsible adult here. And I think this has got to be top two tiers, hasn't it? I think that's absolutely sensational. I put this in the top. This next one, probably very niche, but absolutely incredible. Don't know if you can see what's going on from the potato photo there. Someone's having a little fondle. <laughs> oh, you can't do that, mate. Everybody felt that one. <laughs> and the referee was right in front of it as well. He, like, homes in on it so quickly. Do you reckon he's in that team for his ball control? I think this one deserves to go in very respectable. I think so as well, yeah. Very respectable. It's a good effort. So this next one is my absolute favourite moment from all of this. I don't know if you'll recognise this one, but I assume so. Oh, obviously. Someone's dad gets majorly disrespected here. Oh my, oh, it's not Martin Keown. Oh no. <laughs> Just tries to gouge his eye out. <laughs> then obviously and then he's not done. done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can act a better comedy fool than that if you tried. Yeah, I guess you could say the referee was a bit of a pushover in that game. I think probably very respectable. It's not quite in the same category, I think, as the others, but it's good. So there we have it, the completed tier list of the funniest and most iconic red cards of all time. What do you think, Christoph? I'm happy. I'm just happy with that shape. I think it looks really cool. So while putting this video together, I actually found loads more incidents that are just as funny as some of these. So we're just gonna have to do another tier list. Oh yes, another tier list. Yes, I love these. So if this does well enough, we get to see Chris in his happy place again. Thank you again, everyone, for watching, and uh, see you in part two, three, four, and five. No!